Hello guys and welcome back to my channel. And I think to myself, what a wonderful So in today's video, I am going to be reviewing and trying out for the first time the Hourglass Ambient Lighting Palette. I am so excited to try this out. That's why if my face makeup looks a little odd, I don't have any face powder on. I don't have any bronzer, blush, or highlight. So we're going to try it all from this palette. If you enjoy makeup videos, beauty videos, fragrance videos, and candle videos, I do a little bit mixture of everything on my channel. So go ahead and subscribe down below, like, and let's get started with the review. So first off, can I just say, this package is probably gonna blind you, but beautiful packaging. It's just like in this beautiful gold, um, gold packaging. And this is the Hourglass Ambient Lighting Edit Palette. This is, they do a holiday palette every year with six colors and this year's is $80. It's $80 every year, um, but this is what the packaging looks like. You can see yourself in the mirror. Um, it's very beautiful. I've been wanting this for a very long time and I finally bought it for myself. So, and I did take pictures of it before I'm gonna dip into it today, but this is my first time using it. This is what it looks like, very gorgeous. So let's go ahead and do from one to six, I'll read off what all the powders are. So number one is the finishing powder in dim light. That's this one right here. This one right here is the finishing powder in diffused light. This is a strobe powder in glistening strobe light. So that is a highlight. These two are just face powders. Then we have a bronzer in natural bronze light. This middle one is the strobe blush in vibrant fusion. And this last one is blush and mood exposure. So it's like a berry. So I'm really excited to get into this palette. I have not set my under eyes yet. So I think I'm gonna go in with one of these first to set the under eyes. Let's see, I think I'll go in with the lightest one. And I'm gonna use the Luxie Precision Foundation Brush. This is in 660. I usually use this one to set my under eyes with a loose powder. Um, so we're gonna go into diffused light. Okay, so this is one eye with the under eye powder. Well, it's not necessarily an under eye power powder, but I put it on the under eyes. And it kind of darkened it, if you can tell. This side's definitely darker underneath the eyes than this side. But, so I may not end up using this as an under eye powder, just a face powder. I continue to use my banana powder under the eyes. So let's go in with dim light and try that on the face. I'm like scared to use a face brush in here because the brush is much bigger than the pans. Um, this is the Farrah, I think it's just like a face brush. I can't say that I'm noticing much of a difference when I'm setting my face, to be honest. I was expecting to have a little bit of a glistening glow, but I'm really not seeing much difference. I use the Anastasia um, what is it? Luminous foundation today? Well, hold on. This cheek looks a lot prettier. Oh, yeah. Oh, yes. Okay. In the camera, you can see that for sure. Yeah. Okay. That does actually look really nice. I am though, I think, going to go in with my Pixi Glow Mist because my skin's feeling really dry today. So I'm just going to do this. I usually do this anyways. So it's not like I'm changing my routine. Okay, so while I let my face kind of dry a little bit, I'm gonna go in with the bronzer in my crease. Actually, I didn't do any eyeshadow on the lids today, so I'm gonna go in with this little Luxie 70, what? 207 T brush. It's a little mini and go to the bronzer. I usually do this um, on like lazy days when I don't wanna get out an eyeshadow palette, so I'm used to doing this and I'm gonna go like kind of in the outer corner. Oh, that's very pretty. So now I'm going to go in with the highlight shade, which is strobe powder and glistening strobe light and my Luxie 213 T brush. Again, this is like one of those little mini ones. We're going to go on the lid. Okay, let's go in with the bronzer. This is in the shade Natural Bronze Light. So that's this shade right here. It's very beautiful. 
Um, I usually use these like a giant fan brush for my bronzer so I don't want to change how I use anything just because this palette is is a different um, size than my usual bronzers because I want to still you know give it a fair shot very beautiful shade I have dry skin by the way so I really was looking for I mean, I had been looking at these palettes for a few years. I just never could commit to the price tag of it, but I have dry skin and I really do like baked products. I like baked blush, baked bronzer. I mean, I really do enjoy baked luminous products for the face. Um, that's gorgeous. <laughs> Hello? This is so pretty. Let's go in with a blush. And so I think what I'm gonna do, just so I can try both of the blushes, is I think I'm gonna go in with one blush on each cheek. So I'm going in with two like dome brushes for the blush. Let's go in with the kind of coral color first, which is Strobe Blush and Vibrant Flush. So I assume this one has some sparkles to it, which it does. We're gonna go in on this cheek. And this is kind of like a shade that I would gravitate towards. I really like coral colors, um, especially for like spring and summer. You can definitely tell it's giving my cheeks some radiance to it. So next we're going to go in with the plum shade, which is the blush and mood expo exposure. I don't think this one is supposed to have a lot of um, glitter or shimmer to it. So here are those two on the cheeks. Here's the kind of coral one in Vibrant Flush. And then here is the berry one in Mood Exposure. So this one's definitely not as pigmented as the other one, but also it's a deeper tone. So I feel like they both look very beautiful. Yeah, I, I mean, I like both shades. I probably, I think I like the coral a little bit more. And then let's go in with the one highlighter in the palette which is the strobe powder and glistening strobe light this highlight makes me think of the essence the essence pure nude highlighter that's really what this highlight reminds me of it's a very smooth this is also a baked highlight um, let's actually put them next to each other if we can so they look very similar um very very similar i might have to do a comparison of these two but yeah that's what this reminds me of it's a little bit more um pigmented and a little bit more shimmery than the essence one is the essence one is very very light um like the application of it is very dim it doesn't have like too much of that highlight aspect which is good if you want like a soft highlight and that's what i feel like these that's what I feel like these powders are. I feel like they're just like soft. So here is the final look. I feel like I like it a lot. My skin looks very healthy, um, but you can definitely see it's emphasizing some of my texture that I have on my skin. Um, but I feel like my face looks very healthy, like a very healthy glow. I love a glowy look, so this will definitely help me achieve that. I do still feel like my face is dry, um, which is different opposed to like when I use cream products. I feel like my face is not as like dry and cakey feeling like I feel like right now my face does feel dry like it does feel like I just put a bunch of powders on my face. Um, so it doesn't give you the feeling of no powder. I definitely feel like I have powder on but I would say this is a very beautiful all of these powders are beautiful. Um, like look how glowy i can't stop looking i might go a little bit softer with the blush and the highlight next time because that was a little intense but i can definitely see myself bringing this on a lot of trips with me and i have kind of all of my um powder products in one i have my blush bronzer highlight and even a face powder if i wanted to use those so i mean i think this was a win-win it's $80, so it is expensive, don't get me wrong, but I had been wanting this for years, and I think for me, with my dry skin and how I love a glowy finish to the skin, I feel like this was money well spent. If you are looking for something similar, if you also like a dewy, glowy finish, and you think any of these products would look good on your skin tone, I definitely think that um, you should pick this up. I tried to get it last year, um, but I waited until like November and it was sold out. So this definitely won't be 
for sale for too long they sell this until quantities run out so i definitely definitely enjoyed this i have been hearing so many great things about hourglass products for years now and i finally have something um, that i can say is mine <laughs> and yeah i'm very happy with this i think the 80 dollars is well spent and yeah so those are my first impressions and thoughts on the hourglass palette if you want me to do a review or a dupe of let's say like the essence highlighter to that or some of my baked blushes and bronzers to this palette let me know down below i'd love to do that for you guys if you want me to but thank you guys so so much for watching like comment and subscribe down below and i'll see you guys in the next video Bye.